What if black holes, the universe's all-consuming gravitational behemoths, aren't actually black or even holes? Instead, a new theory proposes that black holes are stars with extraordinarily dense exotic materials at their cores. In this video, I will explain this theory and show how it might help answer one of the universe's greatest riddles. Black holes are extreme examples of Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity. They're regions in the cosmos where incredibly dense amounts of matter stretch the fabric of space and time to its maximum, generating an endlessly deep gravitational pit that not even light can escape, coining the term black hole. Scientists think that at the heart of each black hole is an extremely tiny and dense point, known as singularity. Gravity is so intense near the singularity that it creates an event horizon around it where gravity's pull exceeds even the speed of light. The rules of physics fail at infinitely tiny singularities. That's when two seemingly opposing fields of physics collide. Quantum mechanics, which explains the ultra-small, and general relativity, which explains the extremely massive. Researchers want to merge the two sciences into a unified theory of quantum gravity by examining the nature of black holes. The singularity seems to be physically impossible since matter is incapable of collapsing into an infinitely tiny point. Physicists have effectively dodged this difficulty by designing their own singularity-free black holes, which they dub dark stars. These creative inventions seem like black holes on the surface, but within, they contain an incredibly but not endlessly dense core of matter, compacted to the tiniest conceivable size, known as Planck core. It gets its name from the Planck length, an extraordinarily tiny basic unit of measurement that is on the order of 10 to the power of minus 35 meters, or nearly 100 trillion times smaller than a proton. A dark star without singularity at its core may possibly enable light to escape its enormous gravitational pull. Any light that escaped the black hole would be stretched like a slinky by the dark star's gravitational pull, a process known as redshift. Astronomers discovered dark matter when they noticed that the spinning of stars surrounding galaxies was much too rapid for the quantity of substance they could see. We now know that dark matter, which is absolutely invisible to us, accounts for around 85% of the mass in the universe. Despite the fact that scientists know dark matter exists, they still don't know where it originates from. According to the research, if black holes had Planck cores, they may be a source of dark matter. The research shows that dark stars might continually release a stream of particles in the form of dark matter, which could explain why stars rotate so quickly around galaxies. The particles might be as basic as light particles, or photons, that have been redshifted to wavelengths that are nearly undetectable to modern radio telescopes. The energy of these photons would be very low, but they could be plentiful enough to explain the odd motion of stars around their galaxies. Astronomers detected these intense, brief bursts of radio waves in 2007, but their origin and nature remain unknown. According to the research, if an asteroid collides with a Planck core, a burst of high-energy light waves may be emitted. The enormous gravity of the black star would redshift the light, producing an apparent FRB visible on Earth. Although dark stars may help address two of the universe's greatest mysteries, this research would still need to explain a mountain of empirical data to replace the commonly accepted notion of black holes. The theory, on the other hand, demonstrates that thinking outside the box may bring inventive answers to apparently intractable issues. Hey, I just wanted to say a big thank you for watching and for your ongoing support of NASA Space News. We here on this channel work so hard to provide comprehensive coverage of the news each and every day. And if you like our work, you can show your appreciation by subscribing to the channel, by joining, or simply liking, commenting, and sharing this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.